Okay, this one is showing, and it's all slow-mo in some way or another. This is the burner with way too much air. And I wanted to show you, uh, you see the little sparkles coming out of this. A lot of these are hitting the back of the combustion chamber. Those are unburned atomized pieces of oil. And so we don't have a complete burn there. Uh, a lot of these are not burning completely. If you run it this way for a while uh, and you shut it off, the thing smokes like a son of a gun because uh, there's a lot of oil in there that hasn't burned. It's not a very hot flame because the, uh, the massive amount of air put into it actually cools it down. So a lot of the oil really does not burn. But you look for the streaks and you look for those little spots and you can kind of tell that that's not a good fire. It's never going to produce the heat you want and you're probably going to end up with some uh, unburned oil in the combustion chamber. Okay, I'm going to leave this on so you can watch these streaks and so on like that. Uh, this is probably the most common failure in adjusting burners is they adjust them with too much air because they're afraid of getting soot. But if you adjust it with too much air, you are going to decrease the efficiency pretty massively. And you won't completely burn the oil. Okay, next I'm going to show you by contrast what the uh, flame looks like when it's uh, about the right air mixture. You can see that. There's no sparklies in it or anything like that. Uh, lots of big licks of flame. You're getting a pretty fair combustion with, uh, with uh, reducing the amount of air into the burn. Uh, next, we're going to talk about uh, too little air. That'll be on the next one.